All right, so today I want to do a how-to video, a really simple fix, and this one's pretty incredible. This is actually how to fix spongy brakes on a motorcycle in about 15 seconds with no tools. It's a pretty amazing trick, and kind of the reason I, I kind of ran into this trick, I actually found it online. It's pretty amazing. I don't see many people actually talking about this, and this is my 2007 Harley-Davidson Dyna Street Bob that is completely custom. The whole front end and everything is has been all completely different from stock. And one of the things that's on this bike are these braided lines for the brakes and the clutch. And the, the, on this line specifically, this line right here is the line that I just recently replaced. It comes up to my master cylinder on my brake. And this line is actually full of brake fluid. So the problem with this is, is if you actually look at where this line goes, it comes down here on my bike, if you can actually see this kind of in my front end, I actually have this one little bolt right here. If you can actually focus on that bolt there. And if you actually take a look at how my, my bike turns, it turns and that bolt connects to this pretty much the stop bolt that stops the whole steering mechanism from turning any further when it actually connects to this right here. And what happened was, is my brake line wasn't connected, it wasn't zip tied over here. So what happened was I actually took a really long ride. Luckily it didn't go out on my long ride. It went out when I was just kind of scooting around town here. And this actually went over here, got pinched right in here between this. And it was the weirdest thing. I was actually pulling on my brake and all of a sudden my brake got really super soft and I looked down here and it was just squirting brake fluid all over my whole front end. So what I actually did is I went in and replaced this brake line and I replaced the fluid and everything and essentially the brake line comes all the way down here to the front brakes on the on the motorcycle up here comes up to the front caliper and of course when you the way the caliper works is when you pressurize this line by pulling on the handle it squeezes the two brake pads together on this disc and slows the motorcycle down so what I actually did is I replaced this brake line and I flushed out the fluid and I was flushing it and flushing it. And basically the way you flush it is you kind of pump up the brakes and put some pressure on it. And then while you have pressure on the brake, you open this valve right here and bleed all the air out of the line. And for some reason I kept, you know, flushing it and flushing it and flushing it. And I still had a really spongy brake handle on the front brake, which was kind of crazy. So I started looking up online and how some people correct the braking, especially the front brakes on a motorcycle. And what I want to show you is a really super easy way to completely take all the, the sponginess, especially out of the front brake. That works really good. And there's a couple ways, you know, you can do it. You can actually try to bleed it. Some people kind of work on it themselves. As a matter of fact, uh, the brake fluid is really super corrosive, especially the paint. So if you actually take a look at my rear master cylinder, take a look at this down here. It's actually this spot right here. If you can see it right down there. That's my rear cover of my master cylinder. You can see all the paint is completely gone from that master cylinder cover because the brake fluid is so corrosive. Anything that it gets on, especially paint, it'll take all the paint off. So a lot of people, they don't like to mess with their brakes. They would rather bring it into a shop. Or what you can do is this simple trick where you don't have to expose any brake fluid to anything. It takes about 15 seconds and it's an easy fix for spongy brakes. All right, so I'm gonna show you some magic on this bike and how to easily fix the front brake. And the thing you'll definitely need is you'll need some kind of a, like, a, like a bandana or a zip tie or something like that. And what I actually use is I just use, I have so many uses for these little black bandanas. I actually buy them on Amazon. And if you buy them in bulk, I think they're like 10 packs or something like that. They're only like 50 cents a piece or something I'm thinking. I'll actually leave a link underneath so you can check out these bandanas. Let me tell you, I use them all the time. And essentially what you do, is you pump up the brakes just like this and then after they're pumped up a little bit you just kind of hold it and then wrap the bandana or a zip tie around the brake and hold it in place slightly depressed like this which is pretty amazing it's pretty simple and essentially what that does is it kind of pressurizes the system 
And also it kind of opens up the master cylinder up on the top of the bike. So what it does is all the air in the line, for some reason when it's pressurized like this, it'll actually, all the air will bleed up into this master cylinder instead of having to bleed the line manually and lose a lot of fluid in the process. It's pretty amazing. I actually, when I first did these brakes, I'm thinking maybe the problem was is I had a lot, a lot of air in the line and I think it's kind of like maybe if you have like a fish tank and you fill it up with water for the first time, you have all the kind of the air bubbles that kind of collect on the side of the fish tank. I think it was kind of the same thing with this brand new brake line because essentially what you're doing is you have like brand new surface that's not wetted from the brake fluid. So when I first did it, it seemed like it was really super spongy. And let me tell you, even after the first 24 hours of doing this, I got a really firm brake. A lot of people say that you should do this overnight, but what I actually found is you can actually do this again and again and again, you know, do like an overnight, just kind of, you know, tying it up to your brake line. And it seems like every time I do it, the brakes get better and better and better. It's pretty amazing. As a matter of fact, even if you don't have like really squishy brakes, I can almost guarantee that if you just kind of tied a bandana or zip tie overnight, you would significantly improve the braking capability of your bike. It's pretty amazing. Just a really simple trick, so I thought I'd share it with you. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.